Welcome to my channel, uh, Palladium Mystique. Um, I am currently doing energy readings uh, for astrology, um, and this is a you versus them scenario. These uh, readings aren't date specific. If you read my description in for this video, um, you'll learn more about how I do astrology. Um, just take the messages as they resonate and also you can flip the situation. It's you versus them. It's a scenario. So it's you and another person or a situation. Um, and it's the energy of what's currently happening in your life. And um, you, you can cross watch and be the other person um, who's in a, your own energy and not necessarily in this particular energy of Pisces. But just take the messages as you resonate and we'll go from there. So what are the messages required for you? What is your current situation, Pisces? What's happening in your life? Okay, so I feel like you've been waiting a long time for something to come into fruition in your life, Pisces. So the Three of Wands is an energy where we have done everything we can in a situation and we're waiting to um, reap the rewards of our investment or we're waiting for someone or something to return that has... Um, we, we, that we've let go of so it's like if you love someone set them free if they come back to you it's meant to be that's the kind of message I'm receiving here so you're kind of in a, a waiting energy to see what's going to happen in the future it's like you've put all your time and energy you were willing to put into a situation and now you're just like waiting to see what will happen in the future and you're hoping for the best and you're hoping um, you know that you're going to receive the abundance that you so desire or or the connection that you desire but you're not entirely sure what the universe has in store for you in the future so let's get a clarifier and see if this is romantic or if it's career it could be both it doesn't strictly have to be romantic but a lot of love readings like to come through me oh wow it's like about power it's about personal power so sovereignty to me is someone stepping into their power so I actually feel like this is a divine feminine energy that's coming through you don't necessarily have to be in a divine feminine divine masculine connection but it's someone who has really stood in their their power um, and this isn't gender specific this is just the energy it's the energy of somebody who's and fives are about change so Someone has really changed and transformed into the best version of themselves and they're standing really strongly in their power and they've decided to let go of anyone or anything that doesn't respect them and now they're standing um, on the shore waiting for the ships to come in. So it's like you've let go of a situation or a, a person that wasn't treating you with respect and honor and you've decided to respect yourself and now you're currently waiting and standing in your power to see the outcome of the situation okay so let's get a clarifier from the universe of what um to expect in the future are we waiting in vain here or is there going to be some kind of transformation of your situation hmm I feel like this is a card about anxiety and fear. So the only thing that's holding you back is your fear of not receiving what your dreams desire to give you. So um, I feel like we're in a state of manifestation here. So it's like your thoughts are creating your reality at any given moment. And I feel like the universe is saying, do not let your fears and your past hurts or grievances or pain um, come in, you know, come in to block your future so um, what I was trying to say with that is I think don't let your past hold you back from receiving or delaying what's meant for you is what's coming through here so it's like you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting for it to, to manifest into your life and you know there's a part of you that's like this will never happen um, you know, I'm crazy for believing in this, you know, um, you know, should I give up? But a part of you wants to hold on. So it's about standing in your power and just being in a deep knowing and knowing what's meant for you, knowing that the universe is going to give you exactly what you deserve, knowing that this will manifest when the time is right. So it's just like, um, the universe is like 
reassuring you that you you know this is on its way don't let your past hold you back don't get trapped in those same um cycles of negative thinking stand in your power it will manifest when the time is right but this is all about divine timing you know the universe isn't going to tease you the universe is testing you god um tests us when um you know to make sure we're worthy. If you think about every person in the history that was ever given any sort of high honor in the kingdom of God, they were always made to wait. And this is about your endurance. This is about humility. This is about perseverance. This is about, you know, your will. Um, this is also your commitment. Your commitment is currently being tested. So are you going to be one of the weak ones that gives up and assumes the worst? We're currently in a spiritual war. And if this is a twin flame connection, if you're not strong enough to um, withhold, you know, the test of the divine, how are you going to spiritually be strong enough to fight against the darkness that we're currently facing in this world? So... This is about a test of your own commitment and your power and whether or not you have learnt your lessons or the cycles are going to continue to repeat. Now, I've had a lot of women or feminists comment saying, I'm letting go of my twin flame. I'm this, I'm that, I'm giving up. I'm, you know, and that's fine if that's the path you want to take. But you were chosen to be a twin flame for a reason. Not everyone gets to be a twin flame. Um, this is a divine honor and it's You've got to show divine dignity and divine grace. Um, and you've got to, got to understand that this is going to happen in divine timing. And we are at the mercy of a higher power. We don't have control over this situation. So you need to surrender to the divine and just be happy within yourself. Because if you start living in ego and you start saying, oh, you know, F my divine masculine, he's not coming back, he did this, he did that, you know, you've got to realize from a higher, high, you got to look at this from a higher ground, you're a part of a spiritual war, you've incarnated on earth to fight the darkness and transmute it to light. So if you can't even transmute your own ego from thinking in a programmed way about your twin flame counterpart, then you aren't going to come into union and you're not going to succeed on the journey. And you're letting your past hold you back. That's what the message is coming through here. It's a twin flame reading, I feel. Okay, what is your counterpart? Um, what is their energy? What is happening with their situation? Um, what is going on, Pisces, with the other part partner in this connection? Oh, they either want reconciliation with you or they're partying or they're in a third party situation, but I'm getting more of a reconciliation energy. So it's like you're waiting for this reconciliation to happen and they're currently manifesting it. They're currently thinking about it. They currently want it. They currently um, have decided that this is what they want and they're starting to prepare to come into union with you so your twin flame counterpart wants reconciliation the three of cups is about reconciliation it's about third parties and celebration but it's also um, a celebration of a connection and there's a feminine energy on here as well in this particular card there's a lot of emotions here as well and there's also some musical interest instruments so actually what i'm getting from this if we focus on the card and in intuitively See how there's like this like mist around this lady? I feel like you are seducing your masculine energetically without even realizing it. And he wants to come into union with you. And he's he's like feeling your energy. He's feeling really seduced by your lure. And this has really propelled him to want to reconcile. That's what I'm getting in the current energy for you, Pisces. Let's get a clarifier though. See what comes through. Hmm, yeah, there's a, a blossoming attraction and connection here. And this is a six. So sixes are about three, like the six of cups. And we've got three threes. So that might be significant, three threes. So if you Google angel number three, 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 that could be um, a significant message for you that wants to come through. Threes are also about creation. So I feel like 
something creative is blossoming, blossoming energetically. It's like you're co-creating with the universe. I feel like you're manifesting. You're co-creating with the universe. You're manifesting. Um, so I feel like this reconciliation that you've been waiting for and using your power is starting to manifest in the physical. Now, um, let's get one more card of advice from the universe about the connection. Mm. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is, is um, adjusting his energy, adjusting his thinking, adjusting himself because he's, he's in between worlds right now. I feel like he's more in the dark than he is in the light. So he's really needing to make adjustments in his life to ensure that when he comes through for you with his reconciliation, that he's in a higher vibration. I feel like the divine masculine is still in a lower vibration at the moment and he needs to adjust his energy to me on your level. And he, you are inspiring him. Um, and even look at this. This has a card of music on it too. I didn't even think of that when it came out. It's like a violin. It's like... You're, you're singing the song of his heart and he's wanting to come through. I'm like just getting this like energetic, this beautiful, seducing energy. And um, he's, he's inspired by your beauty, by your appeal, by your high vibration. And he wants to meet you at that level is what I'm getting with this particular connection, which is really romantic and sexy and seductive. And um, he's making the adjustments right now in his life to come towards you as what I am sensing here. But let's get one more card just to see before I take this over to the extended um, of what else the masculine is focusing and feeling today. Yep, he's come to the realization that he needs to make changes in order to come for you. See how there's three feminines in his, on these cards? I really feel like the divine masculine or the masculine in this connection is really focused on his divine feminine. You've got three different cards here. Come to a realization that he's got to make some adjustments within his energy field, within his space. And look at this, another three. We've got three, 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 three. So many threes. It's like manifestation, creation, new beginnings. It's divine. It's definitely divine um, beings that I'm channeling here. Now, if you don't know much about divine feminines and divine masculines, divine feminines and divine masculines have been given a gift by the universe, by our co-creator to co-create with the universe. Um, not every soul gets this opportunity. So it's like the masculine and the feminine are co-creating right now with the universe. And um, this is all starting to come into the physical soon. So there's a, definitely a blossoming a connection here. There's been a realization for the masculine, how strong the allure is and his feelings are towards the feminine and the adjustments that are required for him to come forward to his feminine in the future. And there's a real blossoming love that's manifesting this energy is just so beautiful. I feel it. I feel like it, it makes you want to dance. It's like that kind of high vibrational, you know, it's like, you know, when you have some sort of like alcohol or something like that and you want to get up and dance, but this is like a natural high and a natural high that gives you the confidence that makes you just want to get up and dance and be super happy. I'm getting such a high vibrational happiness here. So I'm going to take this reading over to the extended now. I've got um, a Vimeo channel. The link is in my description. If you want to get more, I'll unpack this over there. We'll get, you know, the connective energies, how the masculine is viewing the feminine, um, what's blossoming here, what adjustments and blockages they're working on, and what they've realized in terms of their feelings for the feminine and um, the, what is going to happen in the future and the potential outcome and how the universe is assisting if there is any divine intervention. All right. Thanks for joining me. If I don't see you over on Vimino, I'll see you really soon back on YouTube. Have a lovely day. Bye.